Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing? Welcome back once again to another episode with Kiko Delva. Alright, so, wow, Mona Testnet is already live, as we all know. Now, the question is, how do we get to start? Now, before you can start Mona, you have to get the test tokens. And that's what I'm going to show you how to get in this video, as simple as ABC. So, Alright, so now let's get right straight into how we can claim test tokens. Okay guys, so... In order for you to be able to claim Mona through bridging, we are going to first of all have to claim what they call Ethereum Sapoli. Look at this first one. Now, before I start, before I continue, the links, all these links are all in the, in the video description. So make sure you check out the video, the video description and then you access the link. Understand? Or you can also come to this Telegram channel, Crypto Delva. Yeah, that is the official Telegram channel. Just come here and then you have access. Also, the link to this Telegram channel is in the video description. All right, so let's continue. Okay, so when you, the first thing you have to do is that you have to get free, it's for free, Ethereum Sapolia. Understand? So all you just have to do is to follow this link, just click on it, follow this very link, then please make sure you change it to, make sure that it's on Ethereum Sapolia. Is that clear? So change it to Ethereum Sapolia if it's not there already. And then when you come, sometimes you need to log in. So as you can see here now, I'm already logged in. So make sure you log in. Okay, so as soon as we get it to Ethereum Sapolia, now what I'm going to do now is going to be a very simple thing. Now, please take note of something. Now, look at it here. It says, in order to prevent bots and abuse, this file chart requires a minimum Ethereum minute balance of 0 0.001. Please, this is the main thing. Now, if you cannot, if you don't have... Ethereum balance on the minute, you may not be able to claim this Ethereum Sapolia. So you have to understand the things that are involved. All right. Now, the question now is what they mean by Ethereum minutes. So Ethereum minutes is very simple. You just have to have some Ethereum in your wallet, the major Ethereum. Now, let me show you what I mean. Now, as you can see now, this is my BitGet wallet. All right. So this is actually my BitGet wallet. So when I come to wallet section, when I come to wallet section, I'm going to I'm going to make sure I change this thing to from Ethereum Sapolia. I will change it to Ethereum Manet, just normal Ethereum. All right. So just make sure you select Ethereum and then check if you have any Ethereum here. So as you can see here now, I have some Ethereum here. Now, what do they mean? They mean that you should have 0 0.001. So that 0 0.001 is worth two point something dollar, just less than three dollars. So all you just have to do is make sure you have it in your wallet. That's all. Just have it. Just leave it in your wallet. They don't need it. They, 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 don't, they won't take it. Just leave it there. And then you proceed with the claiming of file chat. All right. So now let's quickly go back to our file chat and then claim. Okay. Now, when I go back to my file chat here, here is my file chat. So now all I just have to do is to remove this notification. So all I just have to do is just copy my Ethereum address and then paste it here. All right. So how do I get my Ethereum address? Just have to go quickly back to this place and then go to receive. Please make sure that it's showing Ethereum. So just click on receive, click on Ethereum, and then once I click on Ethereum, I'll have to select which of Ethereum, 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 all right? I'll just have to click on this place now and then copy the wallet address. So now that I've copied the wallet address, all I just have to do is I have to quickly go back, all right? Okay, I have to quickly go back. Okay, I forgot to tell you, please make sure you change it back. Make sure you change it back to Ethereum Sapolia. Just type Sepo layer so we are talking about ethereum sepolia please make sure you select ethereum sepolia all right so now here it is it is so i already have some balance already but i'm going to claim more now so that you see it so now that i've copied my wallet address it's actually the same wallet address with normal ethereum so i'll just have to come back to this place within this space here just come to this place and then paste it so once you have pasted it all you just have to do is click on what send me ethereum so he said, okay, I have to complete some capture. Let's see. Okay, what they mean is this. So click on this thing and then complete it. All right. So after you have completed it, the next thing you just have to click on send me Ethereum. Okay, so it's just going to process and then it will now show you this green screen telling you that it has been processed. Now let's confirm if it has actually been processed or not. Now, when I open my main wallet, my Sapolia wallet, and then refresh, let us see. When I open it and then refresh it, let's see whether they actually... All right, so as you can see here now, my Sapolia wallet has actually increased. Okay, I for, formerly I have 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 
five. Now they gave me extra zero point. So I have enough now. So I can actually claim and claim and claim. Let's see what I will. So we can claim this once in 24 hours, I believe. All right. Okay. So now that we have the Sapolia, now what's the next step? Now the next step says bridge this Sapolia to what? Monad Sapolia. All right. So I'm going to now show you how to bridge your Sapolia to Monad. Okay. So now we just have to. Just, I'm going to copy this link this time around for better experience. So I'll just have to copy this very link and then I'll open my BizGet wallet. I'll go to the DAP, BizGet DAP down here, go to discover. It's different depending on the extension, uh, the wallet you are using. All right. So I just have to paste this link here and then search for the link. All right. So here it is. Now, as you can see here now, make sure that it's showing Ethereum. And then the next thing is make sure that it's showing from here now you select which sapolia you are sending from so i'm actually sending from ethereum all right so make sure that it shows ethereum sapolia so this is normal sapolia all right now the next thing you actually need to do now is you need to select change this one to monad so just type monad all right so just once you see monad here the next thing you just need to do is what am i doing okay just select this monad don't mind this my screen all right so now i have selected monad and i have to put the amount select the amount you want to bridge all right so i just have to select i have 0 0.3 so i just want to do 0 0.2 ethereum all right so this is it now after that the next thing you need to do is just to click on bridge just click on bridge and then the transaction shall be processed okay now as you can see here now it simply says that the transaction has actually been completed all right so completed so now let's quickly go back and see what it looks like all right so now as you can see here now let's just go back and then go back to our wallet and then switch to monad to actually see if we now have this monad monad test monad ethereum on our wallet so just switch to monad come to this place type monad all right monad so here it is so make sure you select this and then change it to monad testnet so now that is changed to monad testnet now i don't have any more but i have ethereum monad all right i have some ethereum monad so now, how do we view the Ethereum Monad that we have? We don't actually need to view it because we want to swap it to Mon. But let me quickly show you. All right. So now, when you come back to this particular place, I gave you the contract address. So all you just have to do is to copy this contract address. All right. So now that I've copied it, I will now come to this place and click on Manage Token. So once I click on Manage Token, I'm just going to look around and then let's see what is here. So I'll just simply paste the contract here. Let me see what it's going to bring up. All right. It says it doesn't bring anything up. So just click on add manually to quickly just view your Ethereum, your Ethereum, the one you just bridge now. All right. So just click on confirm and then voila. It says add now. Click on add now and automatically it's added. All right. So now let's now go back. And so now this is it. And then you can see the balance that we just bridged is here now. All right. So now that we have some Ethereum Monad, now the next thing now is how do we bridge it to Monad? Very simple. All right, guys. So after you've actually done that, the next thing you actually need to do now, let's look at the last step, which is what? Bridge swapping from Monad Sepolia Ethereum to Mon. Now we shall be making, instead of making use of Uniswap, we shall now be making use of Ambient Finance. All right. So all you just have to actually do is you just have to copy this link as usual, go back to BitGet or any web three wallet you are making use of. Then come all the way down to this place. Come to discover and then of course you know how what to do. Paste it here and then search for it. All right. So now the moment it opens, you now know you now see how you can actually uh, swap from your Ethereum to your Mon. All right. So once it comes to this place, the first thing you want to do is connect. Then when you connect, agree. After agreeing, you have to select your wallet. Then after the selection of the wallet, voila, here it is. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? We want to swap from, make sure you select the pool. And then we want to swap from Mon Ethereum to Mon. All right. So you just have to select this first one. So now when you select this first one, it's not going to bring this thing up. So what we want to do now is this one has to go up. Why this one has to come down? Because that's what we want to do. All right, so just click on this place and then change it. Once you just click on this place, it will switch. So here now, we can now put how many of it we want to use. So we want to use 0 0.1. So let's see how many more it's going to give us. 
So 0 0.1 Ethereum is going to give us 0 0.4 mon. All right. So this is it. So 0 0.1 Ethereum will actually give us 0 0.4 mon. So it's now up to you to know how many mon you need. So, but I'm going to just go right straight and then select 0 0.018. All right. Okay. Now this is it. So I'm getting 0 0.7 mon here. All right. Let me just make it 0 0.1 actually, since that was what I claimed initially on this video so this is it so 0 0.43 that's what i'm going to be getting so all i just have to do now is just quickly click on approve all right so just quickly click on approve so once it is approved the ethereum will now be swapped to mon then after approving it just click on claim and then click on submit swap also you have to click on confirm and then you sign on submitted all right so as you can see here now i was able to claim 0 0.4 all right so I was able to claim 0 0.4. Now I have four mon before, so it should now be 0, 4 point something mon now. So let's quickly go back to my wallet and see how many mon I have. So I'll just have to refresh, refresh, open it. If it's not refreshing, we'll just open it and refresh it here. Refresh again and again and again. No, this is not, this is Ethereum. Just have to refresh, click on this mon and then refresh it to make sure that the balance reflects. So as you can see here now, I have four mon, all right, voila so that was actually a very easy and simple way for you to claim some mon for your mona test net all right now before you go i want to let you know some about something i am really preparing a lot of videos on monad so every single interaction i'm going to make videos on them so endeavor you stick around by turning on your notifications so that as soon as i publish anyone you will always be the first to get notified about it okay now before you go if you have any question regarding this video or subsequent videos please just make sure you leave your comments in your comment section and i'm gonna attend to that